Welcome to Louisiana Travel. And now that Mardi Gras is behind us, we kick off the fairs and festival season. And I have the two ladies here today with us. Tell us all about that and, and tell us uh, what position you hold in that organization. Well, Billy, thank you for having us. Um, my name is Caitlin Calhoun, and I am the president of the Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals. And I'm Melissa Dottolo. I'm the past president of Louisiana Association of Fairs and Festivals. And we just had a great, yes. great party. The passion and love in that room uh, in Baton Rouge was incredible. Fairs and festivals from all over the state. Tell us what we're looking for this year and what we can expect. Well, fairs and festivals are back, first of all, which is so exciting after everything that we've been through and all of our members have been through over the last couple of years. Um, so we are looking forward to a very busy spring festival season here in Louisiana. So what, give me some of the highlights of some of the key ones. I know the listeners are always looking for things to do around Louisiana, and this is something on any given weekend there's many things going on in every corner of the state because of the fairs and festivals. Yes. Well, we have this great brochure um, that we have at all the travel centers at the, throughout the state of Louisiana that lists our over 125 members, and it shows their dates, and it's all listed by month. So you can look at each particular month and say, ooh, we've got six fairs and festivals this weekend and seven the following weekend, and just keep going from there. I mean, there's never a dull weekend in Louisiana. You know, we like to say if you can eat it, <laughs> catch it, shoot it, or dance to it, yes. We name a festival after Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And um, I tell you, since I've been lieutenant governor and traveling the world, this has been such a valuable tool in our toolbox, mm -hmm. luring people here. Mm -hmm. and, and the great thing about it is when they come to Louisiana, especially international visitors, they look to see all of the state. And there's something exciting happening in every corner, the tamale fest, the crawfish, mm -hmm. the watermelon. Um, tell me some of your favorites. Oh gosh, oh, well, that's so hard, hard to, way. to pick certain ones. <laughs> well, of course, I have to kind of give a plug for one of my festivals because it's in April. It's the Battle of Pleasant Hill reenactment. We're one of the largest Civil War reenactments in the state, so of course I love my own event. Um, but then there's Ponchatoula Strawberry that's coming up, Louisiana Crawfish, Brobridge Crawfish. Um, there's so many wonderful events across the state, so it's really hard to pick favorites. And the thing that I really love is that we try to give, and we, we do, hire a lot of local band and musicians. Yes. Yes. And they've been hit extremely hard in this shutdown, getting no work. And I know the fairs and festivals, y'all highlight and give them a lot of work, and uh, that's really special. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. We, um so many fairs and festivals have so much music planned throughout, and some of them have specifications, such as Brobridge Crawfish Festival. You have to be, I think it's a Zydeco music yes, band. They, ha they, they have only certain... allow a certain genre of mm -hmm. music. So it's really neat because you can fit and hit any genre depending on where you go. See, I learned something new. There. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I've been to that and loved the Zydeco yeah. music. I didn't know that was all they played mm -hmm. there. Yes. But, uh, but that's great because you can go where you, the food, the music, Yes. And I tell you, uh, something else I've always been impressed with is the arts and crafts. So many talented people making so many things. Mm -hmm. yes. And every year there seems to be a new family that created something new. Uh, that they sell at one of these fairs and festivals that you can't get anywhere else. Yep. And that's one really cool thing about our organization is we do have fair and festival members, but we also have resources for our members that include a carnival branch, an associate branch, um, and an entertainment branch. So we really try to work as an organization with not only bands and carnivals and those arts and crafts vendors and things like that. Um, we are kind of a one-stop shop for yes. fairs and festivals. So we all have to work together in order to make our events successful so we all try to just kind of work in the same vein to provide our members with some resources. And I think that's what we were talking about earlier about trying to get the 411, that the ones that aren't members, to right. join. Um, you know, we speak with a lot of voice. We have more yes. political clout. But it also gives you the resources you need to share those uh, great bands, uh, mm -hmm. vendors. And it also helps us when we take your website and push it out there, across the country and the world where people can download look at all the fairs and festivals you have in yes. your brochure it truly represents all four and eleven if we can get all of them to join yes. and be a part of the great organization i think it's like seventy five dollars to join mm -hmm. yes, so that's, it. It. that's probably the cheapest <laughs> membership that one party uh, y'all had in Baton Rouge was worth the $75. <laughs> uh, yes, our convention's uh, so much fun. Well, you always dress up. You always have a theme. 
when I walked in to see the school scoreboard with <laughs> yes. my name above the scoreboard was really kind of neat. But to see everybody take on a different uh, act or, or celebrity, mm -hmm. it's just uh, pretty special, the, the passion in that room. So this year we're expecting record crowds. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I know many of the fairs and festivals didn't have the budget they normally have mm -hmm. simply because of being shut down for two years. And that's mm -hmm. why... The Office of Tourism has stepped up and, and not only offered grant money matching, but full grant money to promote every fair and festival. Because the, the restaurants, the shops and attractions in every town yeah. are going to really need our help to make it. And there's one thing that will draw them to the community, and that's the fairs and festivals. Absolutely. Thank you all for being with me today. I look forward to making as many as I can this <laughs> yes, year. Yes, yes. Uh, I said I'm going to try to make them all, but, uh, you know, as many as I can. Yeah.